Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me today. My name is General Confusion, and this is once again Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. So, when last time we left, we had begun to prosecute a war against the Morganites, not because we're aggressive, greedy imperialists, although we are, but uh, because they declared war on us first. Something that was extraordinarily silly, considering that A, we are the planetary governor, and so we can see everything going on in all of their bases, and B, their most advanced unit is laser infantry. That's right. They don't have any weapons beyond lasers. Also interesting, if you take a look at the Morganite Island, uh, they haven't done a whole lot of terraforming, but what terraforming they have done has mostly been forests, it looks like. They've built, they've planted, rather, a lot of forests. If you compare this island to our home island, the Morganites are actually being somewhat more Gaian than the Gaians are in some ways. We have, um, we've done a lot of ecological changing. And the only place the Morganites really have done that is right here around Morgan Interstellar, which we have now stolen, so it belongs to us. Um, we really do need to hurry that recycling tanks because Morgan Interstellar is just a bad, a bad place to be. We'll also hurry those sea formers just for laughs. Ooh, heat wave at last rose of summer. Cool. Plus one energy in every square. That's nice. Piloted his recon rover into a fungal vortex. We should actually have listened to that. It was pretty cool and tells you something about the, um... Production Here, complete. let me go to the data links and look up the res the um, hologram theater so you can see that little blurb. Can't you? Aw. You can't see it? Anyway, so that quote that I skipped over when it built the hologram theater by accident, I apologize for that, was a Morganic executive talking about the Recon Rover Rick character, which they made... Uh, out of a real person who piloted a recon rover into a boil of mindworms and died horribly, holding the mindworms off long enough for an evacuation to take place. And they uh, basically took his, you know, image, repackaged it as the recon rover Rick character, and started selling action figures and vid tapes and such. And they said, you know, people don't need to know that recon rover Rick died screaming, clawing his eyes out as worms burrowed into his skull. That would just depress sales. Over here, we have lots of forest. Good. Razorbeak wood is going well. Whopping seven nutrients a turn from that space. My goodness. And we're building a biology lab confirmation. because we are going to turn Razorbeak wood into our next mindworm production facility. Uh, it has a reasonable amount of minerals because it's getting it from all the forests. And since it's growing very quickly, soon it will be able to use all of its forest spaces and we'll build a hab complex, probably right after the biology lab, uh, and then a hologram theater, just to keep everybody happy. Interlude from the Book of Planet. What is it? Report! You bark the orders with all the patience of one whose days have become an endless stream of budgets, battlefield analyses, and supply requisitions. We've completed our investigation of the borehole cluster, lady. Something in the voice causes you to stop the frantic shuffling of data pads and look up. The young engineer's demeanor is that of one who is about, about to deliver very discomforting news. Well, spit it out. What's wrong? It's not exactly wrong, lady. It's just that, well, the boreholes are similar to the type we've created ourselves. A direct tunnel to the magma core of the planet, tapping into a great deal of energy with very little entropic loss through the use of induction coils and so forth. Yes, yes. You're familiar with the theory and even the practice. What else? Well, lady, this structure was definitely not created by an Earth faction. Our dating techniques show it to be only slightly newer than the nearby monoliths and artifacts. Interesting. That means that the alien culture that once lived on planet had reached a greater level of technological advancement than had previously been confirmed, though it had of course been suspected. That's not all, lady. The young man looks highly uncomfortable. Finally, he blurts, it's the construction materials used in the borehole perimeter. We can't duplicate them. Your eyes narrow. Why? He gulps. Well, lady, the metals used are not native to planet. Their composition includes many elements not found anywhere, at least so far, in planet's crust. You goggle at the young engineer, astounded at the implications. The race that left behind these monoliths, these artifacts, they must have come from the stars, just as humanity did. Were they defeated by planet's biological defenses? Did they leave? And if they left, might they ever come back? So this little bit of plot was actually added in one of the patches to Alpha Centauri. It's not there in the original unpatched game that I played way back when, in days of old when Knights were bold. 
uh, and it links into Alien Crossfire, the expansion pack to Alpha Centauri, which I may play sometime later. So now we've got our missile rover. Um, I think I'm probably going to go straight for the Heartland. I'll take Morgan Industries, cut off Morgan Transport, and then I can sort of take it at leisure. Uh, although I may want to kill that impact. Yeah, I think I'll kill this laser guy first. And this boil is going to move in here and repair itself. You take out that sensor array. Oh, come on. Uh, no, actually, I want the missile battery to fire first. 16 to 15. Nope. Wait and repair a little bit. So we found the Spartans. We're going to skirt around the Spartan oh, Island company. and see what all we can find there. Uh, I've convinced... I Last time, I bullied Zakharov into voting to repeal the UN Charter, so I'm going to... Oh, right. It was last proposed in 2242. It's only, I think, 2256 right now. So I can only propose the same motion once in 20 years. Uh-oh. I didn't think the Morganites could do that because they did not have much money, but this is another thing that probe teams are very, very useful for. They rush-built a probe team, apparently, got out and captured our missile rover unit by using the probe team to introduce a virus. And now they've destroyed our recycling tanks. Okay. Citizens of Razorbeak Wood protest lack of children's crash. Drone activity increased. Oh, come on. Production complete. Okay, we've got a recreation commons here at Memory of Earth. And we will build... We're already building the Hunter-Seeker algorithm, aren't we? I believe we are. Um, We're going to need to bump up our probe game a little bit. So Memory of Earth, no, not an aerospace complex. Memory of Earth, start Production building me some probe complete. teams. Yes, we've got the Hunter-Seeker algorithm going on at Autumn Grove. Now, production-wise, Greenhouse Gate Greenhouse is building a tree farm. We need that to hurry up because I want Greenhouse Gate. Well, no, not Greenhouse Gate. Greenhouse Gate is not very mineral rich. You're building a research hospital uh, for the bonus. Well, after you're done with that, why don't you get me some trained missile squads? We just need to bump up our military expenditure a little bit because uh, the Morganites are being irritating about this whole, uh, you know falling under the guy in boot heel thing. They're just being they're just being a little frustrating about it. We have a network node here. Uh, we'll put in a rec commons. We may actually want to build the virtual world, although I believe we were planning to steal it from yes, we're planning to steal it from the Morganites. That's fine. Let's bomb them again. Oh, they've built an artillery unit. Well, you just wait. We'll keep bombing them. Terrible you also need to complete. heal up. Take away that fungus. We'll snatch this pod. Complete. There's an isle of the deep there that's going to attack us again. Bugger. Up, oh, we won. Amazing. Okay, Greenhouse Gate has built its tree farm. They have seven minerals remaining which is enough to contribute to the war effort by building us some missile needle jets. You, meanwhile... Ah, uh, yeah, just put a forest there. You've got a condenser farm space. That's fine and dandy. So these spaces will produce a lot of nutrients and energy for us. But this space, you know, it's always good to have a few more nutrients sitting around. There we have pure mineral production. Uh, do we have any more rocky spaces? We don't have any more rocky spaces, so I'm probably just going to turn that into a borehole. Yep. Bomb them. Two to two? Why aren't you healing up at all? Alright, now odds are a little better. There we go. Now you... Where did they put that missile rover that they stole? I think they disbanded the missile rover. Oh, nope, there it is. Can't be having that. Are we at war with the Believers? We are at war with the Believers. Turn complete. So we've got a Believing Impact foil down here. Oh, come on. Why you always got to be so irritating? We are going to need some more C units. 
For the last Rose of Summer, instead of trained missile squads, you are going to need to build missile foils. Uh, I have missile foils and missile skimships, and I'm not entirely certain what the difference between them is. Uh, no. I need to go to the workshop. Alright, obsolete that. Because I believe the missile foil... Yes, the missile foil has deep radar, so it costs the same, but it can see further. Energy. We're just going to hurry that up because I want to get it out of the way. So we're building probe teams, missile needle jet, the hunter seeker algorithm over here, and then we're going to replace that with units. Uh, over here, a tree farm, tree farm, rec commons, hab complex. I'm still not worried. I'm not worried about the war. It's sort of petering out over here just because I only sent a few high quality units and they're being taken away. But you know what? It's okay. Nothing terribly is going wrong. The Marine Institute uh, is having psych problems. You having drone problems? I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, and a drone definitely is one. Uh, let's get some more missile needle jets. And monitoring station after that. Energy. Yeah, I don't have any money left. After that, monitoring station is also going to need a rec commons. All these bases are going to need rec commons because, as captured bases, until they turn over to our side, which will happen in a little while here, they do have uh, drone problems. Yep, the Morganites and the Believers are both working Production on their complete. secret projects. We built a tree farm over here, so we're going to switch over to military units. We're going to be getting trained missile squads. Production complete. Once again, I'm not putting any armor on my infantry, just because armor on infantry is kind of a waste the way combat works out. Especially later on in the game here where you have missile launchers. It's, if infantry is caught in the open, it's going to be exploded anyway. And if it's in a base, then you should have dedicated defensive units. Terraform complete. So, probe team, where are we building transports? Guy is landing. Request confirmation. Can you be a worker? What can you do for me? Uh, three energy as opposed to... 2021 versus 1823, there's actually no difference. What about a technician? Yeah, there's actually no difference. Fine. Just increase everything. You build a transport foil. So we'll organize everyone with Autumn Grove. Uh, we can't actually terraform these spaces because they are ocean. You, however, can hop in the boat. And you can head over this way. Alright, we've taken Morgan Metallurgy. Energy. We're going to finish that in a couple of turns. And get a Recycling Tanks and a Rec Commons. Meanwhile, this Impact Rover could actually just keep rolling. It's elite. Um, we don't have any probe teams or anything nearby. You're building another probe team. Morgan Industries, do they have a probe team? Hi, Morgan. Yep, they've completed a missile rover prototype because they managed to steal mine. You will be destroyed. So you can kind of see the problem with elite, even elite rovers. Uh, I need to upgrade that to a missile rover, I really do, because that will give it a significant uh, attack boost. He has 319 energy. What? So you will be destroyed. All right, he's surrendering. Give you 319 energy credits, share all of the research data, never trouble me again. Um, now here's the problem. If I say yes to this, then I'm not going to get the virtual world. And I have him on the back foot. So I'm actually going to say no, not yet. Insufficient energy. Because I want him to build the virtual world so that then I can steal it. Perhaps a careful you review of your options bomb him. is in order. Kill that stupid. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, Morgan Transport has laser infantry and laser artillery. Morgan Industries has laser infantry. Morgan Construction has a plasma garrison and plasma sentinels, so that one will be the tough nut to crack. And that's the one that I want to take in order to get the virtual world. So, we're going to move down here. 
you are building formers and don't do that. Build plasma defensives, mind worms, build something military-ish. Uh, actually build a recycling tank, my goodness. You build a condenser there. Uh, Wait. So everything's going according to plan. The Hunter Seeker alg algorithm will be done in 11 turns. Yep, Morgan Construction has built the production virtual world. Ivory Tower intellectuals must not lose touch with the world of industrial growth and hard currency. It is all very well and good to pursue these high-minded scientific theories, but research grants are expensive, and you must justify your existence by providing not only knowledge, but concrete and profitable applications as well. CEO Nwabuda K. Morgan, The Ethics of Greed. It's funny that they chose that quote to go with that this technology, because this technology gives you nothing. I mean, it gives you the super collider, which isn't honestly terribly useful. It's 100% labs boost at one base. So if you have one super base where you've concentrated tons of lab energy and you're crawling in nutrients to support an entire base full of librarians, then the super collider can be handy because it gives you, you know, you can, re you can ring out 20 or 30 energy per turn out of it, which is not nothing. But it's not something you really need to go for. It gives you no unit advances, no miscellaneous stuff. It only unlocks future technologies, basically. So, of course, for this one, you have the quote of Nobuda K. Morgan chastising ivory tower intellectuals who create intellectual breakthroughs that have no practical application. Uh, design better units? I... We already have this unit. Go away. Yeah, okay, fine. Complete. So, Veil of Winds. We've got our rec commons. What, what do we have here? Um, not a whole lot at the moment. So, you can just build me a missile foil or a missile tactical. Production. Ah, uh, no, not, wait, not missile tactical. Missile tactical is anti-air. And I don't think anybody else has air units yet. Uh, this has a river, so let's get a farm and a solar collector. Yep, you're just waiting, waiting on the world to change. We are going to upgrade this unit, make the upgrade to a missile rover, and you are going to start bombing Morgan Construction. You, meanwhile, go into Morgan Metallurgy just to provide some kind of garrison force. 11 to 8. Uh, oh, because they have a sensor. No, 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 don't destroy. Destroy enhancement. Destroy the sensor. There we go. Alright, so we took out one of them. Uh, now, there was a Believing Skimship down here somewhere, and I don't know where it's gone off to. So with three boreholes, we have no need to create industry, industrial or energy production infrastructure around here. This base, all of its other spaces can be dedicated to nutrients. Wealth, Colonel Santiago, interesting. I'm earning 158 per turn, but I'm not getting the wealth spot just because I'm spending all of my money on things, whereas other people are apparently hoarding it. See, like Morgan. Morgan's only making 10 a year. Somehow he has 325. I think he got a loan from somebody. The Spartans are making 8 a year. They have 444. I'm making 158 a year, but it's all going away because I'm spending it all. The human hive is, of course, extinct. The university is making one net income per year. Uh, look at all those farms. No energy infrastructure whatsoever. The believers are making 13 a year and have 440 in reserve. And the peacekeepers are making 11 a year and have only 82 in reserve. So they're actually spending their money on something. Um, I have no idea what that something could be. But uh, And they're also building laser units. I don't get it. They're building impact rovers, at least, and empath impact infantry and stuff. Yeah, the believers are going to war in a big way. They may actually be coming for me, but since I have plasma sentinels, well, you're only a synth metal garrison. Uh, let's, let's upgrade you. Since I have plasma and uh, 
defensive structures at every base because of the citizens defense force i'm not worried about being attacked at worst they'll come in they'll destroy some infrastructure they'll kill some of my crawlers but they won't really be able to take bases so you've been upgraded i need to move you into morgan energy monopoly and heal you up we need to hurry that and oh that's happening in one turn anyway uh recycling tank can we hurry the recycling tanks energy Turn complete. All right, Morgan is stealing our technology. That's fine. Maximum population reached. The believers just got to jump on us too. Uh, we will survive though. Let's get a tree farm going Production over here. Complete. You just hop into Morgan Metallurgy, and those trained missile squads can start moving. So, Morgan's uh, probe team up there is having some success. It is. And it's invisible. It's a probe team, so we can't see it. But it is in that base right up there. But uh, it's not going to matter. I, I don't care what technology of mine he steals, because uh, I'm going to kill him or force him into a pact to serve me, you know, one or the other. Uh, there's a mine over there. That's nice. So that'll give me... A bunch of minerals. I wonder why it's black rimmed and only three. Put a road on it. That'll increase its mineral output by one. Get rid of that fungus. You can hold in place. You can build. You can build a condenser. Turn. You complete. just wait. Production complete. Okay. Monitoring station is having drone riots. Drone riots. Yep. 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 Production yep. Yep. Complete. University base's borehole is getting underway, and it's got its uh, condenser. I'm going to change that. I need a rec commons instead of a tree farm. I need a rec commons before a tree farm, rather. Uh, I do need and want tree farms, but... Terraform complete. So we've got a couple of probe teams. Now, the hunter-seeker algorithm is also going to make us immune to probe teams in about eight turns. Uh, I figure... We'll get one more probe team out, and then we'll change over to trained missile squads because the believers have begun to become a nuisance, and so we need to get rid of them as well. Oh, uh, hi, Lal. How you doing? Oh, this is a bad place to be, actually. That believing foil is lurking in the water around here somewhere. You go over this way. You just rest. We're going to continue our assault on Morgan Construction, and after we take Morgan Construction, I will be more than happy for Morgan to call me up and surrender. Yep, we have the virtual world. And we have a nutrient shortfall. Interesting. Why do we have a nutrient shortfall? Because you've planned your base in a it horrible, awful, no good, very bad way? I think that's probably it. We're actually going to need to get a recreation commons before we get a former, I think, because we have this drone. Uh, yeah, he's planted so many forests, and oh, that, uh, okay, that is being used by Morgan Metallurgy. Morgan Metallurgy doesn't need that. You can just be static for a little bit. Hurry that up. Morgan Construction then can get on there. And uh, start also being static, but static is better than starving to death. Hey, Morgan, you want to surrender? No, he doesn't want to surrender anymore. Ah, okay. Fine, Morgan. I guess I'll have to kill you then. That's something that happens often. If you turn down a surrender once, then uh, the other party uh, will then complete. stop offering to surrender, which is fair enough, I suppose. I don't know why Lal thinks he can become elected governor. He has 54 votes. Morgan has 10 votes. I have more votes than everybody else put together. In fact, in fact, I think I'm close to being able to win the game with a diplomatic victory. A diplomatic victory is when you vote yourself supreme leader of the world. Uh, you have to research a certain technology in order to unlock it, and I haven't unlocked it yet. But once I do, I think I could win the game that way because I have... You know, I have 200 votes out of, let me see, 
54, 31, 39, those two are 70, 124, 134. Uh, I couldn't, I would need, I think I would need Santiago to vote my way as well, but that would be pretty easy to get. Production complete. Oh, there's Sister Miriam. She doesn't like us. Uh, yeah, you already pronounced Vendetta on me, Miriam. I mean, you did that a little while ago. I'm going to put my missile foil here so that if she attacks, the missile foil will take the shot instead of the transport foil. I think she would lose because she's at half health. But even if she didn't, that'll be fine. So Copernic Observatory now has its very own thermal borehole. We're going to build a tree farm to get us some fresh, tasty nutrients. We've got a mine and a road over there. complete. We've got our road network linking these bases up. Everything's going hunky-dory for us. So we've got quite a nice force stacked up at Autumn Grove, and it's only going to get bigger over time. Basically, we're just going to build that up, so that will be the assault force against Miriam. Miriam has done the most development, it looks like. Forests, uh, farms and solar collectors, some mines on... even She's even using some of her resources, which is strange. Uh, so she is the toughest person out there at the moment. She's still not all that tough, I don't think. She's building armored transports, and she has a force of with, that includes some impact infantry. Holy crap, she has elite plasma garrisons. She has been in some fighting. I'm going to call Santiago to see if I can get her map. Santiago likes me because I am pursuing power, which is what she likes. You are as always the most beautiful of us all, and your followers the most ecologically sensitive. I think Santiago's coming on to me. Uh, I'm not going to give you pre-sentient algorithms. I want research data. Nope, I, I, want, I want your map. Can I have your map? Can we swear a pact and join forces? Beg pardon, my dear lady, but I suspect that to speak pact with you now will be to cement your designs for stamping out all legitimate sentient development of this planet. Have you seen my island? I've terraformed the crap out of that place. Come on. All right, fine. We're finished here. Lousy. Grumble, grumble, grumble. All right, so we're going to go up into Morgan Interstellar. Now, here's the problem. This elite missile rover can still be suborned. So if we look at energy banks, the Morganites still have 219 energy in the bank. They're spending it on building things, probe teams and laser infantry, but they do still have it. And over here, they're building a missile rover, which will take them 53 freaking turns. Um... But basically, that means that I don't want to have military units out in the open near Morgan Transport because I think that's where the probe teams are hiding. So, we can take Morgan Processing fairly safely. This elite missile rover, I do not want falling into Morganite hands. It's a very powerful unit. We're going to leave it in the base for now. Meanwhile, our military, or the other military forces that we have are going to start moving around this way towards Morgan Processing. Turn complete. Alright, the university is just getting their butt kicked. Maximum population reached. Opening Observatory is doing fine. We'll build a rec commons here. Um, you know, just to head off any drone troubles. And then we'll start building missile needle jets. Production complete. If we want to use our air force, we're building up quite a bit of an air force. If we want to use it against the believers, we're going to have to get a couple of bases, probably water bases, sort of in a string heading this way that our missile needle jets can jump to and from. So we will need, in addition to everything else, uh, now that we have the virtual world, we don't need to build any hologram theaters, we can just build network nodes, because network nodes basically are hologram theaters that also give you a research boost. So, we don't need any of those, we'll build a network node there, Velvet Grass Point is building a tree farm, and after it does that, it's going to start building sea colony pods. Hey, attack me, come on, fight me, you know you want to, it'll be fun. Morgan Processing is going to come under fire now because I hated and wanted to die. And, uh, what's your option? Okay, no. Hold on. Uh, you actually move into that fungus there and heal. 
This missile rover can come down here and attack. Two to one odds. I like those. And since it's an elite, it can attack twice because it has three moves and each attack only uses up one. Meanwhile, our missile needle jet needs to heal up a little bit. Uh, forest primeval. So we can get two resources from fungus, but we just can't do anything else with it. Request confirmation. Let's finish up that tree farm real quick so that we can put everybody on forests and be making some some good resources that way. Um, with two resources from forests, I'm actually, I built this uh, condenser before. I'm actually going to replace that condenser with a forest because a forest will give me a total of five resources on a square as opposed to the four that I'm getting from that. Terraform complete. We have also built a thermal borehole near Forest Primeval because I'm not very ecologically sensitive. Okay, so Memory of Earth. Now, I've got a military force building up. Memory of Earth needs to start building transports. I'm actually going to build armored transports uh, because the difference is 12 cost. I can suck up 12 cost. That's not really a problem. And uh, I want to have just a little bit of protection in case the believing oceanic forces try to ambush me on my way across. But So Autumn Grove now has one, two, three, four, five, six units ready to go and more on the way. And everyone all around me is getting murdered by mineworks. Forest Primeval has 14 minerals, and so it needs to get in on this whole, you know, production thing. I'm actually going to build two supply crawlers. I'm going to crawl both of those spaces, and then I can either turn people into uh, engineers or librarians or something, or I can just work the other forest squares. So, supply crawler, ho. That's a borehole. Uh, plant forests, please. Just plant forests everywhere. You, maybe you build a... Actually, move right up there and build a sensor array. Okay. This one is going to have a trained missile squad and a missile rover. And I have to tell everybody to get on board. So, yep, trained missile squad, missile rover. We're going to move him up. We're going to move them up and drop them off uh, in Morgan Solar Effects, I think. Wait, why do you only have... Why do you only have one unit? You. Get on board that transport. Okay, that's better. We've got three probe teams. We don't really need any more probe teams. We do still need more transport foils. Got a farm and a mine over there. We're just going to replace all the fungus here with forests. Isle of the Deep. Can I have it? No, I can't have that Isle of the Deep. That's too bad. I can kill it and steal all its planet pearls, though. Pod recovered. Sonar pod, yay! Can I have this Isle of the Deep? I can't have this Isle of the Deep either. I want it. I want Isles of the Deep. They're really nice. They're handy. You know, get on board the stupid transport. Okay, now you can get off onto land. You move up. You attack. And now we will auto-heal our mindworms by taking over a base with them. The prospect of using mindworms as a weapon to take over a base, that's just kind of horrifying, really, when you think about it. But, eh, we're the Gaians, it's what we do. I'm gonna hurry up the hunter-seeker algorithm just so we can get it finished. And then you... You go back into base and hide from the probe teams. As soon as we get the Hunter Seeker al algorithm completed, the probe team is no longer a factor. It just it just doesn't matter anymore. Let's go up to Morgan Industries and explode somebody. So this is why air units are really valuable. Uh, having a lot of them is very useful because they can just fly in from over here, blow somebody up. They can't be attacked unless you have somebody with the SAM special ability. Uh, and they just fly in, kill somebody, fly back every other turn, every plane kills somebody, unless they have to heal for a while. Which happens sometimes, but not all that often. So, they're just not really very easily stoppable. They can just do this all the time. Turn complete. And militarily, it makes you very, very hard to fight. I have asked, if we have trouble between the stars, why can we not launch the simplest of orbital probes? These fools fail to understand the difficulty of finding the appropriate materials on this planet, of developing adequate power supplies, and creating the infrastructure necessary to support such an effort. 
In short, we have struggled under the limitations of a colonial society on a virgin planet until now. Colonel Corazon Santiago, Planet, a survivalist guide. All right, we now have orbital space flight. Orbital space flight looks at first like a military technology because it unlocks missiles, which are one-shot units that carry a payload and that you just launch, they fly in, pick a unit, and explode on them. It also unlocks planet busters, which are nuclear missiles. And nuclear missiles uh, in this game are actually extremely interesting because they affect the terraforming. If you drop a nuke on something, it changes the ground around it. And I will, uh, I'll show you that later on just because I want to show off Planet Busters. But what it really does, the real use of orbital spaceflight, is that it unlocks this, the Sky Hydroponics Lab. The Sky Hydroponics Lab increases the nutrient output of every base by one. Now, you can only build it in bases with aerospace complexes, and the increase is halved for bases without aerospace complexes, and it can't be any bigger than the size of the base, but still, that's huge. Satellites like this, there are several other ones. There's the Sky Hydroponics Lab, there's the um, Orbital Power Transmitter, and then there's the Nessus Mining Station, and they all do basically the same thing. They increase nutrients, energy, or minerals by plus one at every base. It's huge. So basically what this means is I can build, you know, 10 of these things. And then every base I start automatically gets as many extra nutrients as they have size up to a maximum of plus 5. Uh, or plus 10 if they have an aerospace complex. So that makes, that is economically enormous. So I can now build conventional missiles. I still only have fission power plants, the first of the four. And I can build fission planet busters. In a fission planet buster, now notice, a fission planet buster costs 384. The prototype, co prototype cost is 576. These things cost as much as or more than a secret project. But if you really absolutely want to murder someone in the most obvious way possible, this is it. This is basically a giant middle finger to whoever your enemy is. I think at the moment I'm thinking about it and I think I'm probably going to end up nuking the believers. Probably. I won't kill them off. I'll keep them around. I'll let them grow. Uh, maybe they'll take over the peacekeepers, I'm not sure. And uh, at the end, I'll nuke them to death. We're going to keep focusing on Discover because we want Advanced Space Flight, which Production is the next one complete. up. So, Morgan Interstellar. We have minerals and energy and all that stuff coming in. Uh, this could use some crawlers. These three could use crawlers. That would give me 12 extra minerals per turn. So I'm going to get some supply crawlers going, I think. Uh, or should I, do I need to build a rec commons first? Let's build a rec commons first. Request confirmation. And then we'll get the supply crawlers going. Yeah, notice the planet buster here would take 83 turns. If I determine the enemy's disposition of forces while I have no perceptible form, I can concentrate my forces while the enemy is fragmented. The pinnacle of military deployment approaches the formless. If it is formless, then even the deepest spy cannot discern it, nor the wise make plans against it. Sun Tzu, The Art of War, Data Links. Production complete. So that's the hunter-seeker algorithm. Instead of the traditional method of computer security where we find out what the th newest threats are and build walls designed to stop those and etc, 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 the iterative process, the hunter-seeker algorithm uh, finds active threats and actively eliminates them in some way. Not sure exactly how that works, but it does with the help of pre-sentient algorithms. So we are now completely immune to probe teams. This takes away Morgan's main tool against us, which is money. In all games, actually, Morgan's main tool is money because Morgan's big thing is making money. The Morganites get an, an economy bonus, uh, their bases are small so they're encouraged to build tons of them and get lots of energy producing infrastructure and have a huge income. Morgan doesn't have a huge income in this game but he had a lot of money somehow and he used that to steal our missile rover. That's how Morganites fight wars. They steal things, basically. If you take an army against the Morganites, you can just expect to lose units as they take them over one by one with probe teams. 
We're now immune to probe teams. It doesn't work on us anymore. The main tool in the Morganite toolbox is gone. Okay, uh, ah, your old nemesis? I've only been at war with you for a few years, dude. You're, you're not important. And he called me up just to say that he wants to have me killed. But, you know what? It's not gonna work out for him. Morgan Transport is now defenseless. I am going to take it with my artillery. Yep, switch to main view screen, sure. He keeps, so at this point he's no longer interested in surrendering or negotiating or anything. He's just, he's just calling me up in order to scream at me, basically. Like an old man screaming at clouds. Perhaps a careful review of your just options bomb him. is in order. So now my trained missile squad will move over here. And this Terrible one will move over there. Complete. Our formers have altered the rainfall patterns near University Base. How did I do that? What changed over here? Oh, did I build a condenser or something? I don't even remember at the moment. So, the Morganites are about to vanish from the historical record. Which means that next, um, we have my quote-unquote friends, the Spartans, on this island here. Let me talk to Lal. Maybe Lal has a map of the Spartan territory? Um, hmm. Actually, I will give Lal pre-sentient algorithms, because I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid of him, he likes me because I'm democratic, so he's unlikely to declare war until I start dropping nukes on people, at which point he will declare war. But, uh, yeah, we'll give it to him. Do you have any data? Nope. Um, I, I want a map of the Spartans. Do you have that? I can't ask for that. That is one thing that I don't really, really like about this game. You can't just ask, can I trade maps? And I'm not sure why you can't ask if you can trade maps, because they can ask for it, but you can't. Which is like, uh, that's a little frustrating. Actually, I'm going to change my research priorities a little bit to include Explore, because in addition to Advanced Space Flight, I also want Doctrine Initiative, which allows me to build bigger and better ships and travel across the ocean free and careless. This guy can go down to Morgan Hydrochemical. And you can go down to Autumn Grove. Yay! More needle jets. So, with Morgan on the ropes, he only has one base left. We're about to murderize him. We need to move that missile needle jet down to Silverbird Park. And actually, we probably need to shift the direction of our military buildup here over to Silverbird Park because that is the direction closest to the Believers. Although, that said, I was just talking about how I'm going to nuke the Believers at the end of everything, so I'm going to leave them alone. So my next goal might be to declare war against the Spartans, or I might just stop the military build up here. Uh, I'm going to build that transport, but then after that, we're going to go back to peaceful development for a while. So we're going to get a... Uh, what's my biggest mineral base again? I think it's Autumn Grove still. Let me check. Base operations, best base, yes, for minerals, Autumn Grove. So Autumn Grove Insufficient energy. can build the energy bank, and then it's going to build a skunk work, so prototypes are free, and then it's going to build an aerospace complex. I'm going to build a bunch of aerospace complexes because uh, we're going to finish that missile needle jet as well, because I want a bunch of bases building uh, satellites. We don't need another missile rover. We will change that to an aerospace complex. The flowers preach. We don't need that. We will change that to either an aerospace complex or maybe the planetary data link something. Nah. Aerospace complex. Velvet Grass Point is building a tree farm and then a sea colony pod. That's fine. Gaia's Landing is building a transport foil, which it can finish, and after that I will build an aerospace complex. And all of these units are just going to kind of line up to get a spot on the next transport out. Um, this transport, though, is actually going to go, just go over to Silverbird Park. So all these units, actually, I told a lie. I told them they would all line up, but they're not going to line up here. They're all going to move over to Silverbird Park. Including these probe teams.
and you can keep building stuff. Okay, so I think I'm going to cut the episode here. We've basically finished the war against the Morganites. We'll wrap that up very quickly in our next one. And we're preparing for another period of peaceful development and expansion. We will finish colonizing this island, turning it into a paradise island like this one for us. We will also colonize this island. We will expand a little bit in the university territories and develop these bases more. And we will research and tech up because we are going to end this game with a bang by going to the very end of the tech tree and transcending our human forms. We'll get into more detail about that when it gets closer. So thank you all so much for watching this. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you liked it, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, consider subscribing to the channel, and more content like this will be coming to you on the regular. Oh, excuse me there. So I will see you all in the next one.